Hey, 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 friends, family, strangers, and assorted others. I want to welcome you to another exciting NI table. I know this is what people like. NI without any explanation. <laughs> there you go. Because you're an ESFJ, you expect yourself to be impactful, but you can't really pull it off because you're constantly forgetting to be insightful. If you're an ISFJ, you expect yourself to be careful, but you can't really pull it off because you're constantly forgetting to be realistic. If you're an ENFJ, you expect yourself to be original, but you're constantly forgetting to be particular. Uh, for an INFJ, you expect yourself to be careful, but can't really pull it off because you're constantly forgetting to be realistic, same as the ISFJ. ENTJ, you expect yourself to be original, but can't really pull it off because you're constantly forgetting to be particular. And of course, the particular is the thing that's original. The universal is something that's some sort of archetype or, or frame of reference that is shared, whereas a personal anecdote is particular and has unique details in it <clears throat> that allow you to deviate from the universal and be more original, obviously. Just to clarify the linkage there. Uh, INTJ. You expect yourself to be correct, but you can't really pull it off because you're constantly forgetting to be likable. Now note, this one I would say, for both INTJ and ISTJ, they don't really fit the pattern, those two. Um, the pattern is, you expect yourself to six, but you constantly forget to seven, in terms of slots, right? Uh, but I would say that for both INTJ and ISTJ, the reason is because they underutilize their eighth slot function. So in other words, for both ISTJ and INTJ, it's you can't you expect yourself to be correct, but you can't really pull it off because for INTJ, you are. Uh, you are not adequately being insightful enough or you're you're too much avoiding locality bias which doesn't allow you to adequately um in other words you're, it's too ni the real reason why intjs are not correct or istjs are not correct is intjs are too ni and istjs are too si that's the real reason why they're not correct but the pattern has them be have that be likable. ESTJ, you expect yourself to be impactful, but you can't really pull it off because you're constantly forgetting to be insightful. Obviously, insight and impact have some link to each other, right? If you're not, if you don't have good insight, then it's not going to be very impactful. ISTJs, as I said, be correct. Really, it's it's too much particularism that causes them to fail to be correct, not a lack of likability. And concurrently, with the um, INTJ is too much universalism, not enough particularism that causes them to be incorrect. You need the proper mix of the two. ESFPs. <clears throat> you expect yourself to be likable, but you can't really pull it off because you're constantly forgetting to be correct. And if, if other people can't communicate with you under normal circumstances, like our words both mean things, and that makes it frustrating for people, right? ISFP, you expect yourself to be particular, but you're constantly forgetting to be original. So in other words, particularism requires uh, details and stuff and anecdotal <clears throat> meagity meows that make it distinct from other instances. SI of an ISFP is going to be very lean in its details of experience. Thus provide fewer options for originality. <sighs> ENFP. They expect themselves to be likable, but can't really pull it off because they're constantly forgetting to be correct. INFP. They expect themselves to be insightful, but can't really pull it off because they're constantly forgetting to be impactful. In other words, in order to be insightful, you have to be somewhat concise and concision and insight linked to impact. That's why NI is necessary if you want to be impactful rather than just ideationally dense. 
ENTP. You expect yourself to be realistic, but can't really pull it off because you're constantly forgetting to be careful. FI here links to careful. I think that's really the best word because um, if you think about the origins of the term, full of care, uh, you care for that which you care about. And uh, obviously you're more careful with your baby than with your friend's old beat up hammer, let's say. Um, I need to be same as INFP. We expect yourself to be insightful, but you can't really pull it off because you're constantly forgetting to be impactful. In other words, when I chat with an INTP or something, they they have too many disclaimers, too much density, and I'm guilty of that too, but I'm not as guilty as they, and they don't seem to quite recognize that unless they prioritize impact to some extent, they're never going to have a good reason to be concise. ESTPs, you can't you expect yourself to be realistic, but can't really pull it off because you're constantly forgetting to be careful. And that really sounds it sounds correct for both types, right? For both ENTP and ESTP. ISTP, you expect yourself to be particular, but can't really pull it off because you're constantly forgetting to be original. So in other words, if you don't have some originality about you, then your particularism is limited in its particular scope because there's not, it doesn't deviate much from the universal thing. The universal thing of which it's an instance and expressing specific unique details. Okay, so I hope you liked that exciting chart, which you could call the because you're a meow, you expect yourself to meow but can't really pull it off because you're constantly forgetting to meow chart. It's kind of a, a mouthful of the title, <laughs> but um, but you know, that's okay. That's all right. I love you. Thank you for watching. You're a wonderful person. Please thumbs my ups or ups my thumbs. Also, if you'd like to subscribe, that would be wonderful. That'd be great. You should try it. Maybe, maybe this time it might be fun to subscribe to something. Why not?